Allen may be known for its Friday night lights, but some of the most hardworking athletes in our city wear not shoulder pads, but point shoes. Allen Civic Ballet has been turning out exceptional dancers for two decades, and each year they bring in some of the world's top talent for a performance unlike any other. Take a look at how they transform months of hard work into a work of art. In 1995, I opened a school in Allen, and after teaching for a few years, it became apparent that a lot of the students were really talented and with some work and experience could potentially have professional careers. Mounting a full-length ballet is time-consuming, risky, expensive. To do FET, to Beaux Arts, I'd like to see that continue to grow. Last year, we got more ambitious, and we did do the third act of Swan Lake. With financial support from the city, they that enable us to hire professional guest artists to work with the dancers. She's a purely classically trained dancer, as am I. So for us, this is a wonderful opportunity to revisit an old classic and share it with people who have maybe not seen classical ballet before. We're very grateful that Stephanie is putting on such a show that is educating younger audiences. I think this is why it's important for us to come to places where there may not be as much professional dance, to bring some world-class ballet to a place where you may not get it. Guest artists didn't just come in and perform something separate. They actually had to integrate with our dancers. It was pretty amazing to share with them because they're standing right there. You get to dance with them. So it's just a great experience. I was just so much in awe of the generosity working with the Allen Civic Ballet dancers on their presentation, on their reaction, on their acting, on the, just down to their fingertips. I found that they kind of really throw themselves into their role and retain like all the persona of their characters. Also, just having the dancers watch what an enormous amount of hard work can produce. It is so exciting to see how amazing they are and see what you can be if you push yourself. Ballet is an art, but there's a lot of training that goes into it. In some ways, it's kind of like martial arts. A series of reflexes, but these reflexes have to be built upon year after year after year after year of the constant repetition. And with a series of reflexes, you can deliver a beautiful dance. It is not easy because it is incredibly athletic, but you can't let the effort show. We try to make it look as easy as possible, but there's definitely a lot of sweat, blood, and tears that go into ballet. Even if you've never seen a ballet before, there is always something that you can go out and see and enjoy, especially in Allen. I mean, it's with any art or sport. The more you know, the more you'll appreciate it. The more you know about the story, the more you know about the art form itself, the more excitement you'll feel when you watch it. I think that the community is really starting to appreciate this art form. The next Fête de Beaux Arts will happen in the spring, but there's plenty of art to enjoy in Allen before then. On Saturday, December 5th, you can have yourself a merry little Christmas with the Allen Symphony Chorus, or catch a performance of A Christmas Story, December 4th through 20th at Allen's Community Theater. The guy who wrote that infamous song about grandma and a reindeer is also in town this December. Hear Randy Brooks perform with Johnny Hooper on December 11th at Allen Public Library. Notably, North Texas will treat visitors to cocoa, cookies, and carols on December 11th and 12th. And finally, mark your calendars for Allen Civic Ballet's performance of The Nutcracker, happening here at the Allen ISD Performing Arts Center on December 19th and 20th. You can also enjoy Allen's public art any time of year, including works like Out of the Park. The bronze sculpture by Walt Horton captures a young boy swinging for the fences. You can find it near the ball fields at Allen Station Park. Learn where to find all the city's paintings, sculptures, and more at cityofallen.org slash public art. And you can learn more about local arts groups at allenartsalliance.org.